Good evening. Welcome to Tuesday, November 26, 2019, regular selectmen's meeting. There's uh, all those selectmen here except for Ed Guineer, is uh, town manager, town clerk, is uh, please rise with me and salute the flag. The flag of allegiance to, to the, the flag of the United, United States of America and to, to the republic, republic for which it stands, one, one nation, nation, under God, God indivisible, with liberty and justice, justice for all. First order is the approval of the November 12th minutes. I'll make a motion that we accept the minutes as presented. I'll second it. Any discussion? All those in favor? Thank you. There's a first public comment. We have no public here, so we will have no public comment. Uh, and we have no public hearings. Um, we have no reports of committees tonight either. As BCTV Innovision is not here. Is uh, we have no department reports. We have no pre appointments, presentations, or other guests. Well, we're down eight things already. <laughs> not good. <laughs> it's a holiday, I guess. <laughs> yep. Um, number nine, unfinished business. Is this is the change of the cost recovery fee schedule? An addition of Tim Mahabas fee of one hundred dollars. Is um, there was some discussion last time over this? Is um, about you know, <clears throat> when it was when when it's enforced when it's added in and I've, I've uh, tasked the code enforcement officer and planner to do a little bit more research and, and find out what the you know laws are state laws and also uh, if we have anything on the books for yeah. uh, so which I don't think we do table it for now huh yeah we're, we're going to table it table please. it again is like I, like I said when my family had our land lumbered over is you no know, we had to get a state notice but. We checked with uh, our forest that checked with the code, code here at the time and said we didn't need anything at the time. So I don't know the criteria. So yeah, yeah I'm not familiar with it. So. <laughs> um, town manager report. Uh, they're still working on the heating. They've got the uh, boiler all uh, changed over the water, um, and there is heat in sections of the uh, building. Everybody's happy, especially the men's room and the ladies' room. <laughs> Toilet seats aren't cold anymore, um, so they've made good progress, and uh, I expect they'll be finished up probably beginning of next week. They're a little behind, but uh, they have the auditorium to do, and, uh, and several uh, hallways, and I think in James's room, the planning and assessing. Now, Are they what happens if we lose? No one's here in the building for four days, right? Thanksgiving. Okay. Uh, if we lose, the heat goes down. Yeah. Is there an alarm that goes off? Or does anybody yes. check it? Yep, there is. Yeah, there's a there's a light outside the door door that goes off a red light, yep. and uh, the police and fire respond. Okay, good. usually called Patty or Robert, yep. one or the other. <laughs> yeah. Right now, the the heat pumps we have upstairs are working great. Um, they you don't you can hardly hear them, uh, so the, they're doing the, that's working out real good so far. The uh, the auditorium, you know, you said they're going to be working. Are they changing out the radiators? Yes. Oh, so they put, are changing them out. Yeah, yep. they're going to put uh, four on each side, which we currently have, and then uh, they said we could put the covers right back over, so you wouldn't even know they were changed out, and that they should work fine. Okay. So I am trying to find somebody to, to take out the old radiators, uh, but that's hard pressed. All the junk guys will take them, but they don't. Nobody wants to remove them. To remove them. So. We have a lot of cast iron pipe, and I've reached out to several other people, so we'll see what they do, but they're pretty heavy. <laughs> yeah. uh, the Blue Sort building, um, they're just, uh, they have to bring some heaters in. The, cold, the concrete's been too cold for them to put anything down, so he's bringing in heaters, um, and they should have it done by next week, according to Rick. So we've had a meeting uh, once a week that's just very short to bring us up to date. Um, and, and from what I understand, a uh, gentleman from uh, North Berwick and Mr. Cahaya are, are in the process of negotiating what they're going to do with it, either sell it or lease it. Um, fire department, uh, they're making progress over there. They're uh, going to start digging for the uh, concrete to be poured in, and they've scheduled that for December 9th. The footings? Huh? The footings, footings, yeah. footings and foundation, so, yeah. Uh, they've, it, 
doesn't warm up, which I doubt it's going to, and they'll have to do some envelopes according to Brad and, and heat the heat it up a little bit before they pour it. So, but it's moving right along, and then they're going to start the access road once they get all that started up. They've got the materials they have to move. They've moved a lot of about six thousand yards. He said they've moved. It just seems to me like it's taken a while to get the foundation in. Yeah, well, you could have done that. Price you could afford that yesterday it, and today have been perfect days. It, it, they they had to do over excavation because of the hides that were buried underneath there. So they had they had to dig down to that cost us more money. Uh, well, that we had money in a contingency in the site work so for it's the old. So it costs us more money, though, right? Yeah, yeah, it, yeah. yeah. it, it on, right? it is. Um, and uh, is you know once once they dug it out, then they had to you know bring it back up in lifts and compact it. Yeah. So that's one of the reasons it took a little little bit longer. That's what they've been doing for the last two days is compacting it. Yeah. What um, what is going on with the hides? Did you get Rick uh, Quideri came in and uh, took samples of it. And they sent it off to the labs. And that was two uh, weeks ago we talked about that. Yeah, I know. I, I signed a contract just last week, a change order with Quideri, so things take time. But Rick seems to feel that uh, they're very similar to what they found over here, and they were able to just uh, bury them. So we, where the Esterbrook School is, there's a very big hole there where they haven't filled it yet. But uh, he's hoping that that's what, it won't take them long, he says, once they get the okay. So... Um, uh, what else? Um, that's pretty much it. Uh, I, I wanted to ask if, oh, as we're talking, Lisa, the Lisa's, Lisa 1 and Lisa 2, were talking about the upcoming budget process. And if you guys were interested in doing it electronically on uh, either laptops, if you have them, or on uh, notebooks or uh, tablets, if it's something we could do versus all the paperwork and the big books we're hauling around, would, you, would anybody consider that? I'd be happy to do it on computer. I'd be more than happy to do that. Okay. All right. We'll we'll figure something out. Yeah. We'll, okay. Uh, if it doesn't work out, then we'll get the books. Yeah. That way we, we can still send this stuff to you electronically before the meetings. And then when you get here, you'd have a, a small tablet. Uh, and hopefully we can read off the tablet. Um, but I'll, uh, we'll explore Without, that. Without, you know, tearing we'll down a forest. We'll tomorrow to start just reviewing, going over her new budget uh, documents to... Uh, start putting that together. So I'll buy the tablets for us. Yeah, yeah, I think so. Yeah, yeah. Th th you can buy these uh, Microsoft tablets. It's a pretty reasonable. So but we'll we'll explore uh, first. So well, it is saving the cost of printing over a year or two probably pay for it. Oh yeah, it will pay for it, and also just the amount of paper that we do in time and uh, putting everything together and changing things out and. Uh, be a little bit less work for everybody, but modern age, you know, <coughs> technology. The other thing to look at if you're going to do it for the budget, and we've got it set up for the whole board, you could look at it for <coughs> yeah. the meetings too. Yeah, do all the meetings. Exactly. We won't have yeah, to we put have together. Yeah. James and I have been working. I hadn't on talked them. about it with <coughs> Patty, but I'm sure she's smiling over there. <laughs> yeah, Granicus, that's that program that James and I yeah. have been. Does that have that software? That's a, does that as well? Well, I'll be putting it in the budget request coming up. So, yeah. okay, good. Yeah, it's a nice program. Yeah, right. it does minutes agenda. Does everything. And, yeah, so. very nice. Then what are you gonna do? Make sure it input. Does it right. <laughs> <laughs> it's gonna be right. input. <laughs> Lucky she's a little more tech savvy than most of us. So. Well, I was gonna say just to give you a fair warning, if you do that, I'm gonna need a lot of tech support. Okay. I oh, fixed, I, I live with somebody who could give you tech I, support. I, I, I fix things with hammers. <laughs> Sometimes I'd like to fix some of the computers. Oh, yeah. With hammers. yeah. yeah. <laughs> but otherwise, I, uh, low tolerance for electronics. Quiet. <laughs> I know James is talking back and forth with Great Falls, and they'll be here next week mm -hmm. the fifth. for another uh, meet the fifth and Thursday. And Oh, God, yes, you're right, Thursday. Sorry. It's a Thursday night. Right. Yeah. Thursday, Thursday, during Thursday during the day. Thursday. Thursday. I think it's uh, 10 to 11.30. Oh, it's right. yeah. in the morning? I mean, yes. Yeah, it's in good to know. Yeah. But um, we're excited. Could you um, send out a, an email next week, Patty? Let, let us know that, remind us about that, 10.30? Yeah, I will. You know, 10.30, I appreciate yeah. that. I'll I don't have any right on it. Yeah. I'll forget. All right. Um, Selectman's communication. I have a letter from Comcast. 
detailing all kinds of uh, price changes, and I'm not going to go into it because there's about four pages of uh, prices and changes. So yeah, that's all I have for communications. What, um, were they supposed to be giving us a price increase? I thought we signed a contract. Well, this is for this not for the town. This is for different channels and stuff for people and users. The users. Right, but I thought we settled on a price for everything, no? On that stuff so they can... Uh, well, no, because it, it, it depends on what you get. You know, because you can get, you know, all the different different things. You can get, you know, the Latino package, the performance package, TV box limited basics. Is Everything costs. Everything is... All the time. Yeah. I, I, don't, I don't get it, so I don't <laughs> pay that much attention to it, so... Um, that brings us to our accounts payable. We have a payroll warrant, 2020, from November 14th, 2019, for the amount of $61,148.13. It's 2020. 2020. Not 2019. Okay. No, that one. Is a uh, account payable warrant two zero two one, date of November twenty first two thousand nineteen, the amount of eight hundred forty three thousand three hundred five dollars and seventy one cents. <throat> we have a water warrant zero two one for November twenty first two thousand nineteen, for the amount of eighteen thousand seven hundred ninety four dollars and two cents. We have a payroll warrant, 2021, for November 21st, 2019, for the amount of $53,400.41. And we have a payroll warrant, 2022, for November 27th, 2019, for the amount of $67,661.73. I'll make a motion we pay the bills. Second. Second. All those in favor? Thank you. <clears throat> um, we have no new business listed, no quick claim deeds, no abatements, no second public comment. We do have an executive session, but as I'll bring up other business non-agenda items, anybody have anything to bring up? Is yeah. anybody going to be marching in the parade on the 7th? Oh, yeah. It's the 7th. The, the parade, yes, the Christmas parade is December 7th at 2 o'clock. Is um, is uh, meeting over on Wilson Street again, I believe. Yes, right? And yeah. we'll march, same route, marching into Summersworth again. Yep. Um, I plan on being there. So, is. Um, I'm currently anticipating it. So. <laughs> I'm not going to be there. Is. Um, um, is we're going to be going into executive sessions. There's, there's no business, no votes will be taken, correct? No, no, probably not until your December meeting, but it depends meeting. on how this discussion goes. All right. Um, so is, uh, is we'll uh, close out our regular business as I will make a motion to enter an executive session under Title I, subsection 405-6D for the discussion of a labor contract. Second. All those in favor? Thank you. And I already talked to Bobby Joe. 